Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's review checklist. The color beanie crew? Check! Tom Allen? Check! Edward Scott? Check! Rebel Nelson? Check! Great! It looks like we're all set to go. All right, gang! Places, everybody! Ellie, you are on in 20 seconds! 20 seconds? Oh, we gotta go! Yeah! Oh, come on! Oh. Uh. Uh. This is gonna be fun! Oh, you said it! Oh, I'm so excited! Here's a kiss for good luck, Ellie! Mwah! Thanks, Bo! 15 seconds! Oh, I better up so we get prepared for the intro. And I better get prepared to do my um, setup. I better prepare to do the intro after the preview. 10 seconds! Oh, oh, okay. It's just me. Yes, Allie. You really got to do good. Okay, okay. 5, 4, 3, 2, one! And we're live! Hey! <laughs> What's coming up next? Let's find out. It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Love the guy. <laughs> and the morning show starting Rebel Wilson. Woo! And extremely early with Edward Scott. And that's all to come on Nick at Night. Take it away, Ellie! <laughs> From the court of YouTube Dojo. Hey, it's Friday night, so we got to talk about Jennifer Cotton. Wait. What does it have to do with this introduction? Ah, whatever. It's week up there with Ellie Mule. And now, a man who knows that Jennifer Conley can be a bit of a handful from time to time. Wait a minute. Do we really have to uh, do this? Ah, who cares? It's the weekend. Let's relax. Here he is, Mr. Ellie Kongi Mule. Welcome to Week 9 Update. I'm Ellie Gunny Real. What's up, where's office? I'm out, everybody. I'm out. Hey, boss, what's up? Nothing much, Tom. Are you ready for the weekend? Oh, yeah. Let's party. Yeah. Let's party. First, let's go over uh, some of the uh, house rules very quickly. Uh, the theme song was composed by Dominic Mattis Piano, the color being cool, the camera lady, Abraham the Dragon Ball Lover 2004, Christian Freighties, and Mild Shocker are responsible for most of the things that you're going to see in here on this program tonight. And they are all of our shouts from all that us tonight. Please check them all out. Alright? Now, it's the end of the week, and all I want to do is answer one question. What's up? What is up? Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh. What is up? 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 What's up with Jennifer Connelly, a woman who wants to be healed? Well, maybe she should work with uh, some of the uh, aspiring actresses or something. Now, she has a new show in the works called Dark Magic. And it will be on Apple TV Plus. Yep, it will fail. Now wait, she actually did something to get herself ready for a Top Gun Maverick. She practiced bartending. It's not, but come on! Practice makes pure perfection in Hollywood. Practice makes pure perfection in Hollywood. Try saying that uh, three times fast. Anyway, you know, a lot of uh, actresses and actors uh, practice for their lives. As a matter of fact, <laughs> to help uh, them uh, get ready for the, uh, the sex scenes, some of the actresses actually practice having sex.
Is that uh, confusing? No. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Epi! I'm sorry. Let's do the top eight list. <laughs> Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! Yeah! Easy, boss! Easy! That's good! Tonight, category! I'll be thinking that Jeff McConnelly wants before the hour 2025. Number 8, a monkey. Number 7, big sunglasses. Number 6, a fluke. Number 5, a brush. Number 4, a new house. Number 3, a limo. Number 2, a pet walrus. And number 1, a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You know the drill, folks. Hashtag week now. Update hashtag go real for late night. Hashtag go real for adults. Awesome. Hashtag spread love around. And hashtag autism fools. Get those things to turn on social media, please. Dry right, like the thing, subscribe, and brush them. You can shout out the comment section down below. When we come back, and after I uh, calm down, we'll have a with Scott. Special delivery, Mark versus Wilty Fire, a moment for everyone. The all important talk is I'm and a bunch of other stuff. Oh boy. This is still week no update, and now here it is, your vow tonight. And now for the weather with our weatherman, Al. Al? Gotta rain! Thank you, Al. Who hired that guy? When your day has been an emotional thrill And you feel like you're turning into Godzilla Get the big TV pleasure of Nick <sighs> at night Officer, it might have been a little too fast for conditions But see, I've got to get this carpeting installed today We promised delivery in three or four days And I'm always on time Say, I know you, you're on TV Yeah, for Empire Boy, that is a coincidence The wife and I were talking about new carpeting last night You were no kidding <laughs> Say, officer, we could really fix you up. We could have an estimator out to your house tonight if you want. We've got a terrific selection of carpeting, starting on only six ninety-five a yard. That includes polyform padding and professional installation. Yeah, sounds pretty good. And look, you even get a free Bissell rug shampoo when you buy two rooms or more. And credit terms too, no installment payment for sixty days. And look, officer, for you, we can make you a super deal. I mean it. Now you're talking. Well, what's that number? 588-2300. That's Empire. Uh, when would you like us to come out? I'll let you know when I see you. When you see me? In court. 588-2300. Empire! Robert Scott and the boys, I right, Ed? Hey, boss, we are having fun right now, huh? Yeah, we are having fun. Yeah. It's time to boogie, boogie, boogie. Yes, but first, we have to watch another episode of Special Delivery. <laughs>
that you drop. Make way for one that pop. This beat's so sick, it's cool. Can you stop? And listen to me. Mouth's full of food. And it's super yummy. Moving more than you can. In a wide limousine. And streets are so neat. When you live in a dream, you know what I mean. Please buy my new CD. Oh my little aura. Are you crying? Are you crying or out for Lucario? I think you did. I think you really did. Oh, don't cry, Basti. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Here, Basti. I'll cradle you no matter what. Come here. Come to Lucario. Go there. Go there. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. You'll be okay. I promise. Oh now bestie. Go there, go there. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Lucario's here, Lucario's here. I'm Oxibus Disability Choir. Will you help me sing a very special lullaby for Princess RKG? Sure Lucario. Anything for RKG. That's good to hear Diamond. Let's sing along. Aw, oh, go there, go there. Please don't cry RKG. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Here. We'll sing you a very special lullaby just for you. Go there, go there. It's okay, partner. Lucario's here. Lucario's here. Go there. Lucario's here. I'll protect you. You're so adorable when you sleep. Rest easy, bestie. Just remember that Lucario loves you and so does your mother, daddy. Sweet dreams, bestie. Lucario loves you very much. And a welcome baby, cradle and time it is? Well, gee, po, I don't know. What time is it? Well, Rebel Wilson, it's time for a moment for everyone. Huh, I wonder what Allie has in store for the folks tonight. Gee, I don't know. We'll have to find out. Well then, Ellie, take it away. Yeah, Ellie. Love you. Mwah. Alright. If you have ever had a problem looking for the right show to watch,
then believe me, you have made the right decision by coming over here. Because, let me tell you something, all right? Not too many shows and be as genuinely entertaining as this show, all right? I'm sure that there are a bunch of other shows that you could uh, be watching at this time. You know, maybe another talk show, maybe uh, an opera show, or whatever. But the fact that you have chosen this show over any of uh, the shows that are on TV right now means that you have good taste. Now, the fact that you have chosen this show over whatever else is on means that not only do you care about me and my team, but also shows that you have good taste. You know, and my team and I appreciate your support and your love and your honesty and all that good jazz. So, thank you. Thank you very much. And will you please do me and my team a huge favor? Will you please tell other people to watch this program as well? You know, tell them that this is a show that, uh, you know, they could watch with their families. You know, tell them that uh, you know, this is a show that has a lot of laughs, some songs, and, of course, great people uh, behind uh, the things that you see on this program every single night. Thank you. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me and to my team. Now, let's have a little talking time, huh? All right, partners, do you know what time it is? That's right, it's talking time where he talks about what he's going to talk about. So let's talk about it. Yeah! Jennifer Connelly is going to do a show on Apple TV Plus entitled Dark Magic. And that is a sci-fi program. You know, that deals with, you know, what things that may or may not happen. All right? And the best way that I can put it is it's basically a Twilight Zone reboot. All right? Now, I'm all for sci-fi uh, Related programming. Now, I'm all for a uh, show that is based on science fiction as much as the next guy. But come on, Apple TV Plus. Nobody has Apple TV Plus. Come on now. Meanwhile, Jennifer Connelly did something interesting to help her get ready for Top Gun Maverick. Listen to this, right? He practiced bartending. Those of you who don't know what bartending is, all, all it is is just, you know, serving alcohol to uh, people at a bar. That's basically all there is to it. Now, that's basically what bartending is, okay? So, you know, Jennifer said, we had a working beer tap on set, and I spent a lot of time pouring. I practiced a lot because I thought it would be a terrible giveaway if I couldn't do it properly. Jennifer, that is a smart move, but come on. Really? Really? You really want to uh, work with alcohol? Come on now. You're going to end up uh, flubbing your lines more often than not. And you are going to be in huge trouble. Oh, what do I know? I'm just a guy doing this uh, program on YouTube and on Nick at Night. And this show has been on for about 15 years. What am I going to do? Well, this episode of Weekend Update is just about over. 
Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the ending experiment and enjoy the weekend. I'll see you back here again on Monday. All right, that is the news. Domowski, scroll all by four. You can pretend to fly with the Eagles later. Just enjoy the ending experiments now. Thank you very much, Squishin for ATs. And now, before that light uh, shines directly at you, let's watch another episode of The Random Box with Knuckles, huh? Well, it's that time of morning again. Buckle up, pull your laughing hats on, and have some fun with us. It's time for The Random Box with Knuckles! Good morning, everyone. You made it. I'm Knuckles. Welcome to The Random Box. The weather is starting to look lovely again. That can only mean one thing and one thing only. That's right, I can finally start gardening again. I love growing tomatoes, cucumbers, basil, carrots, broccoli, and spinach every year. And this year, I'm going to grow apple trees too. If I do well this year, then I'll have a big feast for everyone on Nick and Night this fall. I talked to Manny Smith about it last night, and she's going to grow some butternut squash this year. I know, Maddie Smith loves growing butternut squash? Who knew? <laughs> She's incredible. She can grow a lot of good stuff for everyone. Love me. Tell jokes that people remember for years to come. She's all mine. So please do not take her away from me. I have been waiting for someone like her forever. And I finally have her. So please, stay away from her. That's it. I, I can't take it anymore. I've been waiting for a long time to do this, but I'm finally going to do it. I want to propose to Maddie Smith this morning. Yep, love is definitely in the air this morning. And I have a feeling that Maddie Smith and I are going to be together for a long time. See you next week. I'm coming, my future wife. Yes! This has been The Red and Box with Knuckles, a production of Cat and Shoes and Nick and Knight. When the ITV breaks, we fix it. Wait. Knuckles is proposing to Maddie Smith? That's huge! To other people who want to have a successful relationship someday, please take note from Maddie Smith and Knuckles. Their relationship will truly last a long time. Hey there everybody! Officer Tentacles here! And do you know what time it is? That's right! It's time for the comment of the week! To know who wins at today's question of his community tab post. So, Ellie, take it away! Alright, let's see who has this week's count of the week. One more time, this week's question was, if you find yourself in a relationship with someone special, then how would you let that person know that you love your significant other and why? When I say your significant other, I mean uh, the person that you're uh, in love with. You know what I mean, right? Anyway... Here are this week's responses, all right? Princess Gianni, the FNAF uh, 2000, no. Yeah, the FNAF gal 2000 alternative just cried a lot because uh, she wasn't uh, feeling so well. Uh, Jazz Rector and Clank uh, didn't really have an answer because it was hard for him to answer that question. Uh, William Charles, being on a cartoon fan, said that he would uh, go on a date with that person because... He loves going on dates. And Anthony showed with us small cultures and openings said that uh, he would show uh, his significant other love and respect. So, there you have it. Anthony showed with us small cultures and openings. You are this week's Count of the Week winner. All right. Next week, we'll try it again. And that has been the comment of the week. So, we would like to absolutely move on on whatever is next. So, over and out. Yes, Nick and Knight is still trucking along with great shows that you can't get anywhere else. No, a random rock is not hosting a show on Nick at Night. Besides, rocks can't do anything. Next week on The Kane Factor with Jessica Kane, Jessica will talk to Courtney Nina, Philip DeFranco, Michael Buckley, Jeanette McCurdy, Nathan Kress, and Spike Ferriston. Then Weeknight Update with Ellie Muller will really blow up because Ellie's going to talk about Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, Jessica Alba, Rosie Perez, and Jennifer Tilly. What will his team do while he's talking about those people? Well, 
You just have to wait and find out. Watch those shows and so many more shows next week on Nick at Night. When late night TV breaks, we fix it. So, to get ready for one of her movies, Jennifer Connelly had to do some bartending. Well, I wish that uh, that was a bigger surprise, but I'm still uh, spinning after what happened last week. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's all of us of the Yoshis here, and we are here at Ellie's show to know what we've learned today. All right, you ready, Yoshis? Ready. All right, let's go. And so what uh, we have learned applies to our lives today and Ellie has a lot to say in his show. You see, we know that his word is for everyone, so now that our song is done, we'll take a look. I need to go to the bathroom! Uh, Yellow Yoshi, you can stop singing now. Oh, uh, right. Sorry! Take it away, Ellie! So, what did we learn? Well, we've learned that Jennifer Connelly is going to do a show on Apple TV+. Plus. We also learned that Jennifer Connelly... Loves bartending. And finally, we've learned that Apple TV Plus is not going to get any more attention. Well, we gotta move, but before we do, here it is. Your musical performance time performance. Does everybody know what time it is? Well, gee, I love Song Bear. I clearly have no idea, including me. Yeah, me too. Well, it's time for a musical performance by Ellie. Huh. Hope he does good. Yep, he's always a good performer. That's right. So take it away, Ellie. All right, folks. Here's an original song for all you folks. Are you ready? Here we go! That has been a musical performance. Yep, that was a really good performance by Ellie. Yeah, he did such a good job. I 100% agree. Yep, it's time to move on to the next segment. That's right, hit it! Breaking news, okay? This just in. There's going to be a big party at DLR's world. And you want to know why? It's because they are welcoming the smiling critters here. Yes, all 
eight of them. Like there's Bobby Bear Hug, Dog Day, Kickin' Chicken, Hoppy Hopscotch, uh, Crafty Corn, Bubba Bubba Fit, Catnap, and Piggy Piggy. So, be so sure to stay tuned for this tune of their welcoming. So, thanks for watching, and until next time, Snoops is signing off. And cut! That's a wrap! Great show, everybody! You all did a fantastic job! Thanks, Allie! Yeah, thanks! Until next week's show! Come on, Ellie. Let's go have our date. Okay. Ooh la la. Hi, hi, hi. How do they do it? Why do we come here? Why do we watch it? Why do you watch it? Mm? For big TV pleasure, oh may I say, it's a television treasure, Nick at Night is A-OK. -okay.